Hello everyone, welcome and thank you for watching this video. I'm going to show you very quickly what you're going to get when you buy a Unify XG switch of 16 ports. Uh, we're going to unbox very quickly this device. As usual, it's very, very nice to unbox these devices from Unify. This video is going to be part of a group of videos that is going to be dedicated to the 10 gigabit networks and high performance networks that we can very quickly set up with the use of these devices from Unify. Aggregation switches like they call them very simple setup one two three is just as simple as connect adopting the network controller as you would with any access point or switch as you can see right here we're going to be able to use 12 sfp ports and four rj45 copper based um, 10 gigabit ports so actually what we're going to get right here is 180 gigabit per second switch this one is the console connection too, in also in RG45. And something very cool uh, that we have seen plenty uh, enterprise grade routers and switches is the dual connection in the back, either uh, direct current or alternate current. Okay, so you're gonna be able to use an interrupted power supply units in the back. Right here, our kit for 10 gigabit, don't forget, we can use uh, category seven or category six as Unify suggests. OM3 fiber optics cable. The, this is in order for you to get the real power of 10 gigabit. And right here, two options. The module of SFP plus for uh, fiber optics or for RJ45 copper modules, which are gonna let you connect um, category six cabling to a 10 gigabit uh, backbone network. So it is going to add up to those four ports that are included in the switch. So it is gonna let you have like a customized um, mixed technology of communications in your network fiber optics and copper modules right here we're going to show you very quickly um, how you can interact with the unify dream machine pro a very powerful gateway from unify um, up to date maybe is one of the most powerful uh, gateways it has and we're going to interact with this 24 port switch power over ethernet in this case and this us 8 8 switch gigabit switch which is uh, actually very versatile because it has also two SFP ports that are gonna give you um, an uplink of one gigabit. Right here we're going to free uh, one of the ports of the SFP plus ports in the UDM Pro to use in this case with OM3 cable. Uh, remember that these modules support hot plug and that you cannot only connect the fiber SFP plus module but also the RJ45 copper SFP modules that by the way are gonna give you a maximum length of 30 meters over CAT6 cabling. Very important. A third option, and very used by the way, is the DAC or direct attached copper. Mm, this cable consists of short length copper cables mostly used in racks and server rooms. We are going to dedicate a video to that topic in order to find options to uplink or downlink your switches. We're not gonna use our modules uh, at once. We're just going to plug uh, the SFP port right here we are going to set them up and leave them running. And I'm gonna show you in future videos exactly what we can do with these very powerful, very strong networks, high speed networks that we can add up in aggregation mode. This uh, SFP modules, these SFP ports, I'm sorry. You can configure them in aggregation mode. So you're gonna be able to have 10, 20, 30 or 40 gigabit per second uplink to the main area of your network. So that's, that is something that is very cool. Remember just to uh, press them firmly. This little lever is gonna be able to uh, set free the SFP plus module. For those of you who are new in this technology, you're just gonna be able to see how this mechanism interacts with the module. So it is gonna free it whenever you um, pull down the lever. Then we proceed uh, as, as usual with the Unify access points or any networking device. We're going to connect it. At first, I prefer to connect it to an RJ45 port. I use one of my, my patch cables right here, category seven, and I plug it into one of the RJ45 ports and uh, I just check that my network connection is up. Then we go to our, our network controller and just uh, adopt this switch just as we would with any other access point or networking device like I said right here it appears so we're going to add it to the system something uh, different about Unify switches is that it is gonna let you adopt the switches and then it is going to be upgraded it used to be the other way around that, that you could you were able to update it before um, adopting the device 
In the meantime, while this device is adopted and updated, I'm gonna tell you that this one is the first of many videos that we're going to dedicate to the 10 gigabit per second networks. Uh, this is a technology that has become more and more available every single day as more companies have been able to lay cable uh, in category six and category seven, which is a big advantage in terms of 10 gigabit networks. Optic cables uh, prices have also dropped, which is a big advantage in terms of implementing 10 gigabit networks. So adding it up, this is a 180 gigabit per second uh, switch, and it is gonna let you concentrate with link aggregation and very easy management, a robust enterprise grade backbone of your network. Let's continue. Once we are ready and our device is ready and has been adopted, then we start plugging our uh, OM3 optic cables, uh, which is something that doesn't have any science right here. You can see uh, once we connect it, it is going to blink white once it has an active 10 gigabit per second connection and it is going to blink green when the connections are um, at 1 gigabit per second. In this case, we're going just to connect the SFP ports, uh, one for the UDM Pro, one for the US24 and one for the US8. We're just going to use these three at first, but I'm going to show you uh, in future videos how interesting uh, this technology of 10 gigabit per second can actually free your network in terms of availability, uh, storage, speeds, and of course, cloud access. Remember that the UDM Pro has a 10 gigabit wide area network connector. That means that it is gonna let you have a 10 gigabit internet connection. Copper cables, as Unify states, you can use category six or category seven. If you're just in the decision making of choosing which one of the cabling you're going to use, I would recommend strongly of course, if your budget permits it, to use category seven. And don't forget that not less important is to choose OM3 optic cables. This is very important as uh, OM3 is the standard for 10 gigabit per second connections. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to visit our Starfront in Amazon where you're going to find a lot, a lot of devices that are readily available for you to implement on your networks, high performance networks in this case. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.